Good day. This is Dr. Rendon again. And today's lesson is about creating presentation. So this is under Shelly Cashman, PowerPoint 365 2021, Module 1, SAM Project 1A. The company's name is Silver River Career Consulting. So on my screen is the instruction which I've already downloaded from my Cengage MindTap account. The support file, which is the staff GPG that looks like this, which we are going to insert later on. And the start file. Titled Silver River Career Consultants. which we are going to rename to underscore two. Let me do that by selecting file, save a copy, and then I'm just going to change the underscore one to underscore two. And I'm my, my file is saved in my correct folder. So I'm just going to select save. Okay. The instructions for getting started is already or are already completed. Just gonna highlight just to know that I'm done with that one. But please make sure that the presenter notes display your name. And I'll show you that. Project steps one, project steps one A and one B. You are helping River Silver River's Chief Engineering or Engagement Specialist create a presentation for soft skills workforce training. Start by formatting the presentation as follows. Change the theme colors to orange. And then resize the picture on slide 1 to 13.33 width so that it covers the entire width of the slide. Go back to the start file. But first, I'm going to select design so that I can change the color to orange. So under variance group, select the more, more button to open the gallery. Select the colors, click the colors and go to the right and look for orange. That's step 1A. Step 1B is select the picture, select the picture format tab, and then go to the width under size, type 13.33, and then enter. So now it covers the width of the slide. That's the project step Project steps 1A and 1B. On step 2, go to slide 2. And then bold the words hard skills and soft skills to draw attention. And then change the size of those words to 24 points. And then delete the unnecessary text for specific job. Okay, go back to your slide one. I mean your uh, start file. Go to slide two. I'm going to highlight the hard skills. Uh, bold it and I believe it's size 24. Let me double check that. Yes, it's 24. Then highlight also the words soft skills. Select 24 size and then select B. Then the next one is to remove the words for specific jobs. So I'm just going to select or press backspace and the while until it's gone. You can also highlight and select delete. Okay, 
Then next one with slide two is still displaying. Enter the text, ask audience for examples, write on flip chart into the notes pane. I'm just going to highlight this and then um, control C or copy from the home tab. Or you can also right click and then go to the start file under notes section. Just going to make it big. Under notes section, you can press paste or right click paste or control V. Okay, so that's done. On slide three, slide three, highlight the word soft skills and then click italics or I. Go back to your start file, slide three, this words here, soft skills, and then select I for italics. So step five, on slide four, using the section header layout, actually, uh, we're going to insert a new slide, which is slide four. And then using the section leader lay, he, section header layout. And then we need to enter these three words here. Communication as the title. Increases productivity as the subtitle. And we're also going to underline it. So at first, insert new slide using section header. So go back to your start file. So place your cursor between slides 3 and 4. So on my PowerPoint, my ribbons, I have from the home tab, I have new slide here, which I can select here, section header, or select insert new slide and then select section header from the frame. So there you are. I now have a new slide four. So for the title, the word is communication. Communication. And then for the subtitle, the word is increases productivity, but I also need to underline it. Increases productivity. Product. Then I will double click it and then select underline. Okay, so that's all done. So on slide step six, on slide five, what it matters, modify the bulleted list as follows. Okay, we're going to increase the indent of 19% succeed by one level. So let's do that first for 6A. Go to slide 5 and highlight this 19% succeed. Go, go to home tab and then you're now going to select increase least level. Go back to instruction. The next one is decrease the indent of 26 can 26 percent cannot accept feedback. So decrease it one level. You're going to also highlight this. I think you can still do this without highlighting and then increase or decrease list level by one. So then that one works. You don't have to highlight. Okay. And then this time we're going to select all the text. But change the font color to orange 
accent one darker 25 percent which is fifth column fifth row there's a hint here uh, it's going to be orange before completing step 11 but the color display will change it as blue after completing step 11. go back to the powerpoint so we need to highlight all of the text and then you can change it in here or from the font group theme colors i need the fifth column one two three four five fifth and fifth row one two three four five which is orange accent one darker 25 percent select it once so i'm done with step six step seven on slide six what is emotional intelligence change the slide layout to picture with caption so that it's readable to adjust the readability so it's picture with captions so go back to the powerpoint presentation go to slide six as you can see you cannot really read it and uh, they're one of on top of another words so select select steps uh, slide six it go to um, the home tab we're going to change the layout select the layout under slides group and then i need to select picture with caption there so now it's readable click x on the designer I'm thinking it's the step seven now so select i mean slide seven so on step eight on slide seven for cast success balance the visual elements in the slide as follows we're going to apply bullets in the middle content placeholder so let's do that first go back to the slide and this is the middle placeholder so you need to highlight all of it and I need to select the bullets from the paragraph um, group. Let's go back to instruction. Now use the right content placeholder to insert the file, you know, the support file. That's what we're going to do. Hint, if necessary, if needed, if that doesn't work, you close the design ideas pane and allow PowerPoint to add automatic alt text but i should be able to insert the picture from here so from the right placeholder there are several icons here but you need to only select the picture select from device and then here's the support file click it once and select insert okay there you go but I also need to make some changes here so go back to the instruction I'm going to resize the picture to three inches okay so from here so picture format is still available for you and then the height I think uh, let me go back so I need to resize tall I need to resize the height to three inches so height is three inches enter three under height and then press enter step nine move slide seven to become the last slide which is slide eight go back to the presentation the easiest way is change it to sorter view and then move the slide seven just drag it to the right that's it and then step 10 you're going to check the spelling in the presentation there's three things that you need to remember if the powerpoint finds multiple instances of misspelled word you're going to accept all instances okay if it suggests a spelling change from one word to two words you're going to ignore 
the, the suggested spelling change. If it finds a single instance of misspelled word, accept the instant the instance of the suggested spelling change. Okay, so that's all. So go back here, go back to normal view. Just gonna go to the slide one. To check the spelling, select review, spelling. So remember the three criteria. So there's multiple instances here that import the word important. So select important and select change all. Okay. So now the um, criteria letter B is this one here, one, one word. It's suggesting to change it to two words. We're going to ignore that. Ignore. And then the third one, um, the third word is problem solving. It's wrong spelling. And it's just one word. So you're going to accept it. So select change. Now the spelling check is complete. Okay. The last, last, last step is creating a pre you decide to send presentations to Silver's marketing department to review the branding you're going to change the theme to office to simplify the design elements okay going back to presentation i now going to slide one so as you can see here it's orange you know see the border there it's orange so we're going to change this to um, the design, uh, the design themes to office. Okay, so I'm going to Control A, select Control A to select all, and then go to themes. Then I need to change it to office theme. So that's all, and then remember the um, one of the steps. I think it's. Uh, step here step six after completing step 11 the color displays blue okay so let's do that on slide five so go to slide five see it's now blue and send the border color actually it didn't we didn't change the color the uh, theme color because it should still be orange okay it's just the theme that we change it so this is the end of the uh, project instructions we've done all of it and then you can double check the final figure should look like here okay so go back to The start file version 2 and then select slide sorter okay so it's similar okay so now you can file save a copy and then click save replace it you are now ready to upload your project into your Syngage MindTag account good luck and see you next time